Leave it 5 one turn right heading 180. one four Papa, turn right 245, report localised established 27. A couple of times a year, the aviation industry is lucky to have an air show with major players in the industry visiting, announcing orders and future aircraft potentially as well. Currently, there is the 2020 Singapore Air Show, which is ongoing, with the first day now having come to a close already. Albeit, with problems surrounding with the coronavirus, it certainly hasn't lived up yet to potentially what some would have expected of an air show. What is a given, almost most definitely, is new concept aircraft being revealed during air shows. It's something we've become rather accustomed to in the past. However, this time, we've had Airbus reveal their Maverick. Now, that's the model aircraft for validation and experimentation of robust innovation controls and breathe. The Maverick for short, which I will be referring to it as in the future, is a blended wing airliner. The way it is designed is for means to cut CO2 emissions by some 20%. However, this testing has indeed been kept well under wraps, partially down to its actual scale. Back in June of 2019, a test aircraft did indeed fly in France. While the test aircraft is closer to a model plane in size, it allows Airbus to improve their knowledge on the subject and more closely refine potential problems, while also generally, as mentioned, working on efficiency and bettering all features of the aircraft. The fly-by-wire technology which is required to control an aircraft like the Maverick still needs testing within Airbus and these flights, albeit on a smaller scale, model can be incredibly helpful to them. The size of the model isn't big, in fact it's only 2 metres long or 6.6 .6 feet while being 3.2 metres wide. The surface area is 2.25 square metres or 24 square foot. The EVP of Engineering Airbus said Airbus is leveraging emerging technologies to pioneer the future of flight. By testing disruptive aircraft configurations, Airbus is able to evaluate the potential as viable future products. Adding, although there is no specific timeline for entry into service, this technological demonstrator could be instrumental in bringing about change in commercial aircraft architectures for an environmentally sustainable future for the aviation industry. While this is very exciting to see, it's not exactly clear what the eventual size of a flying wingtip aircraft will be with Airbus. In addition, what aircraft it would replace and what its seat capacity would be. We only really got a rough idea with some comments, but as mentioned, you really can take these with a grain of salt so early on in the program's testing. Someone said for the equivalent seat count of a tube and wing aircraft, the footprint of such aircraft is much smaller, indicating maybe potentially at it being for smaller planes, we're going to have to wait and see on that front, it's just way too early to tell. It's no guarantee that in 50 years a plane will look like this. However, the important studying, test flights and knowledge building will all go an incredibly long way in building more efficient jets for the future. It's been definitely a slow start to the Singapore Air Show, hence the whole four video a day average when an air show occurs being thrown out the window. I suspect with a lot of exhibitors pulling out of the show, it'll remain rather quiet for the next few days, with his hoping one major story a day to cover for you all. What are your thoughts on this concept though? Do you believe it will ever really get off the ground? When I say it like that, I mean with passengers on board operating commercially. Drop your thoughts down in the comment section below. I personally think it looks pretty awesome, considering it's very different to what we see in nowadays flying. Either way, I'll see you all hopefully tomorrow with another video coming out of the 2020 Singapore Air Show.